Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be covering some basic fraction vocabulary that is helpful for whenever you're working with fractions. There's a lot more fraction vocabulary out there, but these are just the basics that you will need to know when working with fractions. So let's jump into the first one here and we have numerator. I'm going to draw or write out a random fraction over here. How about 3 eighths? Numerator is the top number of that fraction. So you can probably guess what the denominator is. That is your bottom number of the fraction. And the way I remember it, think D for down, denominator down, put that one underneath, and then process of elimination, you only have one other choice, numerator is the top, and before you know it, you'll have both of them down. Mixed number is when you have a whole number and a fraction mixed. For example, if you wear the shoe size eight and a half, that is a mixed number. You have a whole and you have a fraction. If you just have three fourths, that is not a mixed number. It has to have a whole number and a fraction. So, but if you had five and three fourths, that would be a mixed number. All right, so whole number and a fraction, mixed number. Proper fraction means that your fraction's numerator is less than the denominator. So the top is less than the bottom. So 3 eighths, 1 half, 4 tenths. Okay, that would be a proper fraction. If your numerator is larger than the denominator, that's called an improper fraction. So a 4 over a 2, a 5 over a 3, a 25 over a 4. That would be improper. And improper fractions are actually greater than a whole. So proper, the numerator is less than the denominator, top is less than the bottom. Improper, the top is greater than the bottom. You might be asking yourself, well, what if they're equal? If you have, let's say, 8 over 8, it equals one whole. No matter what the numbers are, if the top is the same as the bottom, it equals a whole. Like fractions means that the denominators are the same. So if we had one-fourth and three-fourths, those are like fractions because the denominators are the same. Or maybe seven-eighths and uh, two-eighths. Those are like fractions because the denominators are the same. Unlike fractions means the denominators are different. So one-fifth and three-sixths. Denominators different, so they are unlike. Um, two-twelfths and four-sixteenths. Denominators are different, so unlike. These two come into play when we get into adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, so like and unlike fractions. So those are some of the basics for fraction vocabulary. Hopefully you have those down. If you need to re-watch, re go ahead and re-watch uh, the mastery check. I dropped the link to that in the description. It's exactly like this. I actually give you the same screen and you just write out an example for each to see if you have them down. So head over to the mastery check whenever you are, whenever you think you're ready to test yourself. All right, thanks for watching.